Do you hear that? That, well today I'll show you how to remove background noise so it sounds like this. So much better. All right, we're in Premiere Pro and you see I have my audio right here. Names and quality is checked too. And you can clearly hear the noise that we want to remove. So what we're gonna do is go to effects. And if you don't have effects on your project panel, go up to window and make sure effects is checked. And then it will appear in your workspace. So go to effects, search denoise, add it to your audio. And then you'll go to effects controls, go to denoise and right here where it says custom setup, click edit and then usually all I do is play with this slider adjustment. So if you do zero, there'll be zero denoise added and if you do 100, all of the noise will be gone. So let's hear the difference. So this is it with the zero amount and then this is it with 100. So you can hear it clearly takes away the noise, but you don't want to crank it all the way to 100. Probably somewhere around 50 or 60 works best, but usually I'll just play a section of my audio and adjust it based on what sounds best. So let's start at 60. Prompt and then we're gonna press submit. And make sure you go to settings and quality. And I'm just dropping this amount down, listening to what I hear until it sounds exactly how I want it to. Make sure you go to settings and quality is checked to best with beta audio. This will give you the best result as of now. And we'll so right around 50 is what works for this clip. The amount you need will change based on the clip you have and the amount of noise in your clip. So definitely play around until you get it sounding how you want. But before I move on to my next trick, I just wanna remind you guys that we are posting one new tutorial every single week from here on out. So if you wanna to continue to become a better video editor, learn more tips and tricks and hacks, make sure to subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment, and let us know what you want to learn next. Back to the video. Now let's add our next effect. Go back to effects and search single band compressor, add it to your clip. You'll go here, click edit, and adjust some of these settings. I found this is what works best. Here you want to do around minus 14 for threshold about four to one for the ratio, change attack to zero, release to 200, and output gain to around 4.5. And now it sounds super, super clear. Great videos with text and frames, and then this ingredients to video. And I also just added in my external mic audio. I wanted to show you that you can do it with any sounding audio from your camera, which is what we just did. But I also have this microphone audio. So if we wanted to copy and paste these attributes, it's super easy. You just go here, press copy, and then select your other audio and press paste attributes. And now your audio sounds like this. Images, we have our prompt, and then we're gonna press submit. And I've also included the project file in the description for you to download so you can copy and paste these attributes like how I just did, copy and paste them, super easy. If you made it this far to the video, make sure you subscribe, check out Mirror Camp, and join our online school for more.